I use the real flowers and the real plants combining my paintings to express my relation to the nature. It makes it more real than just uh, a painting or just uh, uh, the flower because without painting, it, there's no personal touch. And without flower, it's not really connecting to nature. So, so that's the way I see it. Melanie Shao was born and raised in Taiwan. As an adult, she became a graphic designer and worked in advertising agencies. And uh, when I came to Canada in year 2000, I just doing something else because it's very hard to, for me to find, you know, my profession. You know, I was a personal banking specialist <laughs> in working for a bank. So then I decided, okay, because it was not the one I really interested in, it's just a, you know, a survival job. Then I, I love the job, but I decided, well, if I have to die tomorrow, what I really want to do. So that's, that thought keeps me thinking, maybe it's time for me to do what I really want to do. Melanie knows how fleeting life can be. When Melanie was a teenager, she lost her mother to cancer. Years later, cancer also took the life of Melanie's sister, Bonbon. Bon. I miss her very much, and she's the one who, who loves nature and loves beautiful things. In 2012, Melanie launched a business as an artist and instructor, and to honor her sister, she named the business Bonbon's Treasure. But before that, like her mother and sister, Melanie was diagnosed with cancer. So after that, I realized that, okay, I might not live forever. So that's the way I chose to, you know, to do it. That's why I, I quit my daytime job in 2012. Then I started doing this full time. It's a leap of faith because I had no backup plan. So I decided, okay, I will spend to the last cent. Then if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll think of something else. Melanie is a cancer survivor of more than a decade, and she still makes flower art her full-time career. I learned a lot from flowers and from the nature. I love wild animals, wildlife, and especially birds. So I have a lot of birds in my painting with real flowers. I use oil and acrylic painting, sometimes uh, watercolors. Oil is more bright and the color, the intensity of the color and the brush stroke with the oil is, is that I love. But I love acrylic too. <laughs> I love doing jewelry as well because it's kind of a challenge to me. That's uh, you have to put all the flowers, you have to create something in a very tiny space. And but it is it's also fun to me to have to see it is happening. So that's a different dimension for me to explore the, the art because it's 3D, three-dimensional. So you can see the flower from layers and layers. It's the nature, it's God's design, it's not mine. And uh, I just want to preserve it. And I want to present it to people that uh, that's the beauty of the world, of the, the nature. And uh, we need to cherish that and we need, to, we need to protect them as well. I think that's the purpose of my life as an artist right now.